finally, after waiting and waiting and waiting, it is finally here. All the way from China. Oh, cannot wait to get this out. So here it is, Daisy Domagoo, The Prisoner, from uh, one of my favourite movies, The Hateful Eight. This is the 1-6 scale figure. It's from uh, Asmus Toys, uh, the first ever uh, toy from Asmus that I've got. So I'm really looking forward to this. I've been waiting so long uh, for this to come in. And then when it finally come in, it got held up at customs. And then I had to pay a customs bill on it. Um, and then it, when it got delivered, uh, I wasn't in. And it's just been palaver. Finally, finally got it. So, let's do the box then. So, the Hateful Eight. Daisy on the front. Um, comes in this lovely... Uh, see-through bag let's get that out of the way Daisy Domagoo the prisoner there she is let's spin it hateful eight on the side and um, I actually thought when I first turned this round I actually thought that this was a little bit maybe about the figure or about the film but it's not but it's got a scene from the film there Lovely. So, that is the box. Do like the box. It's got a little, I um, don't know if you can see here, but a little indent. That's obviously from the packaging. Wasn't packaged the best, just had a bit of bubble wrap, uh, bubble wrap around it, so it wasn't the best. Um, let's get it out. Daisy Domagoo. Get out the box. So there she is out of the uh, box. <clears throat> uh, before I go into the figure and the accessories, got to say uh, the back of the the box underneath the slip box um, has got a great uh, picture on the back that you can use, uh, that you can stand her in front of. Uh, can't think of the name of the place where they were now because it's just literally gone out of my head but no doubt it's along the bottom somewhere now on the screen so you can see that um so that's her first impressions are really good um just looking at her wow she is good um the hair at the back uh, where it's been in box um it's sort of up a bit I'll show you that a bit later when we get to her. So that needs putting down. Um, but you can see the accessories, uh, what you get with her, the instructions manual as well. Uh, liking it so far, liking it. So as we normally do, let's get to the accessories first. Okay, so you get the um, instruction sheet with it, which... Uh, just basically tells you don't put too much pressure on the stool. Obviously, it's not a, a real stool for a human. Um, the guitar, it's not a real guitar. Don't try and play it. Um, the handcuffs just tells you how to put them on. So that's pretty good. I like the way they go on so they won't go back over the hand. Um, that's good. Um, and Okay, sharp tips and how to make the stand. Lovely. So apart from that, nothing else. Um, so let's go with the hands then. Uh, so on the actual figure, uh, she's got gloves on, as you can see. Uh, so that's what she comes with, the gloves. And then you get three extra pairs of hands, uh, sort of open hands here. And then we've got these two, which I would imagine 
is for when she's playing uh, the guitar, when she's uh, plucking the strings and stuff. So they look like the guitar playing hands. And then we've got two here that are just in fists that you'll put on her when she's uh, getting a bit angry. So they're the hands. Um, the guitar is here. As you can see, this come and the strings ain't perfect on my one anyway. I don't know whether I'll be able to, to fix that. Um, not that it really matters that much, but you know what it's like when you get a new figure. You want it being perfect. Um, apart from that, the guitar looks really good. The only thing I would say is if memory serves me right, I don't remember this uh, bit being on the guitar. I remember it just being plain wood. Um, but I'll have to double check that and um, and see if I'm right or not. Um, the back of it. There we go. Looks very good. I'm going to have to see the way these are tightened up. Maybe that just needs pulling up. A couple of them strings at the end. So that's the guitar. Uh, you get a stool, which I think is really good. Um, I've seen some of the pictures from the pre-productions of this and um, seeing her sit down on the stool playing the guitar is really good. Um, good paint job on this. I think it is actually wood as well. It is actually wood. So that's a nice touch. It's not plastic made out to be wood. Good. We've got the uh, furry hat, which doesn't really look like a furry hat at the moment, but I'm sure it will look uh, good when she's got it on. Just looks like a big ball of fur. So there we go. The chains. The chains look really good. Have to say. Look at the detail in that. Paintwork, brilliant. And I've, do you know what? This actually does feel like metal. They've actually used metal for this, which is good. Again, they haven't gone for like plastic and tried to make it look like something else. So the metal handcuffs are actually metal and the wooden stool is actually wooden so that's really pleased with that really pleased obviously I'm gonna have to get the hangman so we can handcuff her and then we get the uh, stand um, so this bit here I don't know if you can see it properly but this is coming up a bit it just looks like a sticker basically just needs to go down properly um, but it looks pretty good this will obviously uh, go in there and then she can stand on that so I'll get the stand made up um, Asmus toys underneath no, quite a nice stand it's plastic this is the one thing that <laughs> they have tried to make look look like it's wooden when it's not that's actually plastic but it's cool as long as that sticker stays down lovely so that's the accessories let's get to the main part itself let's get to Daisy Dominic so here she is here's Daisy uh, let's get first of all that face sculpt which is looking so good. That is a great, great, great face sculpt. The detail, look at the forehead, amazing. So she's got the black eye, uh, she's got the, the cut, 
Uh, one thing I would say in the film, I think her cut, um, sorry, her black eye uh, was a bit worse than that. But that's great. That is great. Uh, hair, like I said, with the hair, we just turn her around. So when she comes, because she's been in the uh, in the box for so long, it's basically all stuck to her collar. Um, but that's nothing that that will get sorted. And especially if you're going to display her with the hat on as well, that that won't be a problem. Um, so let's turn around, get to the clothes. Fur, amazing. Uh, the scarf. Looks good, obviously, she's got uh, the blue that she wears underneath. Look at the detail in this. Look at this. Amazing. The buttons. The belt. A uh, little thread coming out there. Which it won't focus on, oh yes it will. But that's not an issue, I mean. No doubt that would happen in real life anyway. Uh, so she, like I said, she's got the gloves on. So the gloves are good. And I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but the bottom of this is like a bit, just a little bit dirty. Maybe a little bit of mud or just dirt or, you know, it just gives it that old feeling that it's, it's worn, do you know what I mean? So, so that is uh, great because obviously it wouldn't be clean. Brilliant. Oh, she looks good. Let's spin around. Give us a twirl. The coat at the back. Yeah, it just looks great. Amazing. I'm really liking this. Lovely. Uh, no doubt that coat comes off. Um, the coat and the scarf, I would say, comes off as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Let me refocus. There we go. Okay, so um, that's the figure. So I'm just going to go through the articulation. Um, so the head. Uh, turns brilliantly, can go up or down, so the, the head is great. The arms, not sure what it's made of, it feels a bit, it does just feel a bit weak to be honest. The hands turn easily, um, elbow joint, um, it's pretty good. And this arm, ah, see, that's gone all the way round. That's on the wrong way. See what I mean? So it bends that way. Um, so that really needs to come over. And that needs turning. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, that bends. That bends. So that's good. Get to do the robot. Cool. Um, she can bend. Uh, can't really twist, but a little bit. So that's good. Articulation's actually really good on this. Uh, legs come up. Twist. Twist. The articulation is actually really good on this. I didn't think it was at first, but um, yeah, 
articulation, thumbs up, good job. So I've got to say, I am uh, loving this figure. Um, Daisy Domagoo is such a great figure. The accessories are great as well. Um, I have to tell you a couple of flaws with it though, uh, which I found out. <clears throat> so changing the hands, um, they are a pain. They are really hard to get back onto the pegs. Um, and the pegs seem really flimsy. They feel like they could break. So I was really worried about trying to force the hands back on because it's not the tightest of, it's, it's, it's a very tight fit. It's, it's not the best of fits. So um, you have to sort of force them on and it feels like they could break and you don't get any spare pegs with this. Um, so I, th I think if they could have given you, I don't know, two, four pe spare pegs, even even just two, spare pegs because um i'm kind of scared now to to try and get other hands on her um so that's not good um another thing the stand here look looks like it's in but it's actually not in properly um and this it's like this is the exact same size as the hull so it, it just doesn't go in properly. I mean, I could probably force it in, but that is me really trying to get that in. It, it, it's just not a proper fit. Um, so that as well, look, still not in there. And I put so much pressure on that just now. Um, this, this hole just needs to be bigger. So that's a couple of, I'd say, disappointing things. Um, apart from that though, this really is a great figure. I mean, just looking at her there with the hat on, with the guitar, just everything, the, the face sculpt it is a really, really good figure. Um, so I am impressed. Um, I think Asmus toys could, could easily improve by just a couple of minor things, uh, that they need to do. Um, but as this is my first one six scale figure from them, I am very happy, very, very happy, <laughs> oh, loving this. So time for scoring it now, and I normally um, I normally sort of score it out of 10, but I'm, I think I'm gonna change it and do like a, a, a five star review. Um, and this one, I'm gonna give four stars out of five. Um, and it only lost really on, on them hands, um, obviously the guitar, strings, and and the bass, which just doesn't fit in at the moment, so I'm gonna have to, to get that in there somehow. Uh, apart from that, everything else it is really great. The, the actual figure, the face sculpt is amazing. Um, let me just see if I can zoom in on her a bit there. So it is an amazing figure, and um, I'm sure I can get her in much better poses as well. Um, so if you are thinking of getting this and adding this to your collection, I would say go for it. Go and get this. Um, I do. There are another two figures in this range as well, uh, which I need to get. The Kurt Russell figure and the Samuel L. Jackson. Um, so I do need to get them and add them to this. Uh, all in all, great, great figure. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, give me a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, do subscribe. Um, I will be running a competition uh, on my next video. Okay, so uh, watch out for the next video. Uh, click subscribe and hit the bell. And then you'll be notified uh, first when that 
next video is up. Uh, so there we have it, Daisy Domagoo, she's the prisoner from The Hateful Eight. Great figure. Till next time later.